She would appear to have everything, but she doesn't. She's Genevieve Morton, Sports Illustrated swimsuit model, joining us here in studio. Thanks for having me. It's great to see you again. Yeah. The pride of South Africa. And uh, how are your spirits right now? My spirits are pretty good. Okay, we need a, we need a boyfriend here, <laughs> right? Yeah. Yeah, okay. I need a new one. The other one, I have to trade him in. So she uh, she kicked one to the curb here, <laughs> right? Yeah, I had to. You know, he wasn't performing the way I wanted him to. <laughs> <laughs> Not in that way, you perverts. I, I didn't think that way. I thought you just met as a boyfriend. I totally yeah, thought I that. I know Dan was on my side with that one, but you guys over there in the peanut gallery. Okay, so we've we tried the athlete. The actor? Yep. Musician? I tried that one. Photographer? Yep. What about a golf pro? That's a good idea. Okay. My sister once dated Tim Clark back in the day. Oh, Tim Clark, yeah. Yeah, he was really nice. So maybe someone like him would be cool. Okay. Um, let me see. I'm leaving it in your hands. The last time uh, I left Sports Illustrated in your hands, look what happened. I'm not in the magazine. What happened, I know. Dan? What happened? I, what happened? Remember we had the whole interview and you were like, I'm going to get you on the cover. And then the next thing I'm not in the issue. So what did you say? I didn't say anything. <laughs> I, no, I, I'm kidding. I already knew I wasn't in the issue at that interview. I just pretended like I didn't know. Oh, because I said it's the cover or nothing for Genevieve Morton. Yeah, well, you got one of them right. Yes, I, the same yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, so we'll try to help you find a boyfriend here. If those guys are single over there, those four. Give me an idea of just looks wise where you go, okay, that that's the direction I'd need to go in. I'd have to make a combination over here. Oh. Everyone's got their attributes. No. Except Fritzy. Fritzy. Yeah. It's cold. So Fritzy can't be in the he's not in the equation. You're already eliminated. Yeah, you I'm, are. Yeah, well, you just got eliminated on creepiness and no. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, yes. uh, but there's a history between you two with creepiness, right? In all in fairness to Genevieve, that's when, true. when you played the role of photographer. I took that it a was too terrible. Seriously. That was terrible, right? Yeah, but I feel like it went way before that too. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so so Paulie Seaton or uh, McLovin, who claims I, to be Brooklyn Hip. Can I just opt out of this? I, I don't want. No, no. I don't if you like were where single, no. Wait, so you don't like me? That's kind of mean. I'm sitting right here. Couldn't you wait for me to lift the studio she's first? She's crushed here. She just she's what? without a boyfriend now. Trust me, Thanks. Dad. Trust me, I know what I'm doing here, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. McLovin thought that the more you ignore a supermodel that the better chance you have? Yeah. Is that true? No, I don't think so. I think my, my ex-boyfriend thought that, so I offered to make him breakfast. He said, no, he has to think about it. And I was like, okay, cool, bye. <laughs> so, okay. Your boy, you offered to make your boyfriend back breakfast. Yeah. And he said he, he wasn't sure. He was like, I need to first check with my brother and my friend who stayed over. And I was like, okay, cool. Well, you go and bro it out the rest of the weekend. <laughs> Nice. Let me drop you off some six-pack beers there, and you guys can have a good time, the three of you. Wow. <laughs> like, oh. you know. These guys went to the swimsuit uh -huh. party. Oh, how was that? I'm surprised they let Fritzy in. They didn't. <laughs> he didn't get in. <laughs> so he, you went there, but he, you just didn't go in. He didn't get in. Banging, he, on the, just, banging on the door. Fritzy outside. was comfortable in a window peeping in. <laughs> oh. That's where he's comfortable. Wow. That's where he's most comfortable. Yeah, I don't want to go in. Is it okay if I just pe window peep in here? There was some yeah. police line, stay, you know, stay across the street thing. But it's, it, they said it was kind of lame. It was? Well, that's because I wasn't there. Sorry, guys. <laughs> yeah, but what, I mean, what, what's supposed to happen at this swimsuit party anyway? Well, you, you guys know, just walk around. And then you have a bunch of dudes that just stand there with drinks. Yeah, and then you, like, take pictures with people. And then and that's smile it. and chat to them. Yeah. Yeah. That's the point. Isn't that what happens at all parties? Not, I would hope not. Well, what's going on at the parties that you're going to? Because I want to know. Have you Seriously. seen the Rob Gronkowski Rager party on the on the, uh, the cruise ship? Do you know who Rob Gronkowski is? Mm -hmm. Football player? No, I don't know. Yeah, so he's he's got a celebrity cruise where it's basically a rager. So what, do they just get wasted all weekend on the cruise yeah. and hope no one falls off the edge? Yes, pretty much. That's my kind of party I right there. I feel like we should do that, but on the Disney cruise boat, like, so that there's rides and stuff. What do you think? If we do a cruise, are you in? I'm totally in. I've never been on a cruise before, so okay. as well, yeah. Okay. I will say there could be a problem because these guys like to wear Speedos. Um, <laughs> the back row likes to wear Speedos. <laughs> Just get some self tanner. Oh well, that's a problem for McLovin. He, Why? He he d doesn't do the self tan. It doesn't work. Like he's transparent. Like he's very very white. 
Ready? Yeah. Like you've heard of Barry White. He's very, very white. <laughs> yes. McLovin can't do the self tan. You're saying it doesn't work. It does not work. No. Right? Yeah. Well, I mean, after three or four layers, I looked at least mildly tan. Or orange. Yeah, that's the problem. You don't want to look orange. Trust me. She's uh, Genevieve Morton, the uh, swimsuit model by way of uh, South Africa, uh, discovered by a scout at a local beauty pageant. How does that work? Um, I was backstage changing, and this guy came up to me. He's like, I think you've got a great body. You should totally do, like, a photo shoot with this agency. And I was like, but they already turned me down. And he said, no, well, I'm going to set you up with this agency, and all will be well. And then all was well, and here we are. That's all it took. So that's yeah. not creepy well, that no. a guy walks up to you and says that? No, he was like a stylist. Like, I'm, I mean, no, I didn't think so. I mean, that's not all it took. There was a lot more to the story. That's like just the first, like, the first little bit. Then there's the part about where I, like, the recession hits and I had no money and I was peddling cigarettes to unsuspecting people in a bar. And then my manager came and was like, what are you doing here? And I'm like, I need to pay my rent. What am I supposed to do? And he says, we're meeting for tea. And then I got an SI. I mean, there's like a whole 10-year period of stories here to go on. So you were selling cigarettes at a bar? Yeah. Like the girl I don't even was... smoke. They're like, what does this taste like? I don't know. <laughs> but did you, did you have the, the carry? <laughs> <laughs> so not good. Thank God I wasn't getting paid for the amount I was selling. It was an hourly thing, thank God. Uh, if you, do you give advice, though, with All women who want to do this? Yeah, of course. What do you say? I tell them to find a job that pays. Yeah. <laughs> no, you know what I tell them? I tell them that you have to think outside of the box because a lot of the time people that ask me for advice are asking me that are not, like, tall enough or not, like, you know, the right proportions, and then I have to, like, tell them some advice. It's a tough business, though. Well, especially now because of social media, it sort of changed everything. How so? Well, I think because people are getting access to images essentially and using them for like people use my images to create whatever content they want and they're not paying me for those images essentially which is really annoying it's like why I, I spend like hours and hours and hours creating content and then people just go on my page steal the images and make galleries for themselves it's like, are you kidding me i just I, I went for like a week trying to create those pictures best place you ever it's visited crazy. um the maldives because it was the most be, uh, the, just beautiful. No matter where you look, it's beautiful. And the hotel that we stayed in was like amazing. The food was incredible. The water was perfect. The hotel room. We had our own like people looking after each bungalow. It was great. I felt fabulous. Who's your best friend? Who's a model? Um, uh, I don't have. Oh, my friend Charlby. She's really nice. I don't have that many model friends. I try and branch out with my group of friends. Try and see if people can teach me stuff. I guess. Yeah, I don't know. Wouldn't models just sit around talking about themselves? Well, in the early stages, I found we spoke a lot about food. <laughs> it's like, what, are we really sitting here talking about what we're eating? Is this really happening right now? So you don't eat, you just talk about eating. Well, we talk, like, I had this one friend who was so, like, obsessed with eating all kinds of stuff that one day she ate a whole bag of apples because she was trying to be on a diet. So she just ate the whole thing because she was like, well, apples are healthy. It's negative calories. I'm like, you're insane. Seton's on a cleanse right now. What, the cheese yeah. cleanse? No, nah, I get to drink six things of juice a day. <laughs> That's very depressing. Yeah, it's you super depressing. You should just join me at the gym. I lost 10 pounds without trying, and I eat cheesecake last night, so. No kidding. Yeah, for real. Cheesecake please. cleanse. Mm. Exactly. I like that. I could do that. See, I feel like I've yeah. been on that one already. And that's <laughs> what led me to yeah, but this. The juice thing one. is, you gotta go to the gym, too. I mean, you, uh, that's the whole thing. I tried to get him to go to spin with me. Really? And he, he won't go? No. He went one time. I did go once. Why did you stop going? You know, my schedule just hasn't worked out. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It must be so <laughs> tough doing that morning show and then yeah. like going home and watching TV and stuff. Yeah. It's so tough. You know, we Beers. just can't get our schedules on the same page. I'm going back, though. I'm going back. Yeah, I invite him every time we come to the city. I said, dude, you want to go spin? Oh, I can't. Oh, I didn't bring anything with me. I don't have any gym you stuff. You have to come CrossFit with me, I swear. It's going to change your life. CrossFit? Yeah. You like turning over tires and uh, doing all that the chains stuff. And, and all like that the, stuff. This one trainer I have in, in LA, he's so cool. His name's Bruce. And he puts these like straps over me and then I have to like jump up. It's awful, but it works. I swear to God, it works. Maybe uh, we go and shoot that. We have yeah, Seaton work totally out with you. Yeah. Seaton, are you up for that? I would do that. Yeah. Yeah. It's going to be horribly embarrassing, uh, but I would do that. I think it'll be fine. I think it'll be fine. What, Fritzy? Well, I, I can make sure the harness is fitting properly no, enough. No. I can be involved in some just way. Just stop. I'm, I'm just willing to volunteer. 
it's done. I don't even have to be part of the workout, and I'll just then I'll just go to the side and lay on a mat somewhere, take a nap. <laughs> yeah, do box naps. That's what helps me. Uh, do you want to let people just have a little glimpse of you as the photographer? One more time. Oh, could, I... It was great. I want you to think of the <laughs> dirtiest. That's a, no, 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 oh no. I, I said no. I, I, I wanted you to be the he's, photographer. He sounds like he's. Photographer. he's sound, that's photographers and like phone phone sex people are yes. not the same. Yes. Places the lotion in the basket. Or no, no. But I wanted you. To, I thought you would learn on what it's like to be a photographer. Oh, like a toned down, like tamer version. Yes. You can't do it though. I can't. Okay. I don't know any. I, I don't know any other way to do it. I okay. thought that you're supposed to bring out like this. Animal? No, she's not an animal. No, but you have like that look where you're just making love to the camera, and that whole thing. No, you just you don't even make love to the camera anymore. You just make love to an iPhone. That's all you need these days. <laughs> all righty. Right? Yep. I asked for it. You know what? Blame me. That's right. She's uh, Genevieve Morton, and uh, so you you're in New York for a little while. Yeah, I'm here till Thursday. Okay. All right. Yeah. Well, maybe uh, we'll get Seton to do CrossFit with you uh, next time we're in Los Angeles. Yeah. I'm going to have to check my schedule. Yeah, I'm here. sure you will. I don't well, know about from between now and May if I can. Hmm, it's only six-minute intervals, so you can do, like, at least one of the six minutes, right? Or no? I should be able to do six minutes, yeah. <laughs> I have trouble after six minutes. <laughs> Oh, man. You had to jump on that one. That was just right there. That's it. We're done. But that was right there. We're done. How am I supposed to not pluck the apple there? Genevieve Martin, (laughs) swimsuit model. It's great to see you. Good to see you, Good luck. If we can help uh, with the the boyfriend, I'll be more than happy to be sort of that father figure that they have to get by me, and then I can sign off on. I'll I'll do that. I I really need need that in America because my dad's in South Africa. People are like, I don't have to deal with him. He doesn't live here, so we're all good. No. All right. You will FaceTime him. I'll be uh, your, your surrogate father. They'll be your big brothers there. Thanks, guys. All right.